Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've decided to do a vocal mix into Studio 1.5 Prime, which is the free version. So I will play you guys the mix without any of the effects and I'll show you guys how I've routed all my uh, effects. So this is the mix without any effects. So as you can hear, there's already a vocal on the two track and uh, this artist that I've worked with just put his uh, rap in between where there's gaps. So... I've uh, tried as much as possible to get his voice to sort of match the main vocals so it doesn't sound disjointed as if it's two different performances. But how do we achieve that in Studio 1.5 Prime? Because, you know, with Studio 1.5, there's a lot of limitations. So in order to get by with these limitations, I've uh, decided to do it this way. So first thing is, these two tracks, I've routed it into a group. I created an FX group, which I've named Vox Group. So I send the two main vocals there. Because the top one is the main vocal. The second one is just like a backing vocal to double it. I'll play you this in solo. So you can hear what it sounds like. Then I'll turn on the effects that I've added to it. Aj teri ek ni chalni jinna tu marzi bol no lame excuses lady let's rock and roll menu chete aandi aane teri o gallan pata mahi dangdiyan menu aaja chaaniyan rata so on this vocal i've added the channel eq which is this so i've rolled off a bit of the low end let me switch it on I've rolled off a bit of the low end at just about 70, 73.6. And I've also added a little bit of boost here because I felt like the vocal was a bit tiny. So at 600 hertz, I've added 2 dB and I've shelved 2.55k with 3 dB boost. This is now what it sounds like with just the EQ and compressor. I've also added compressor fast attack. Aj teri ek ni chalni jinna tu marzi bol no lame excuses lady let's rock and roll menu chete aandi aane teri o gallan pata mahi dangdiyan menu aaja chaaniyan rata so as you can see i've added 2 db of global gain just to give back cuz we are compressing about up to 5 db or so on the other vocal all i've done is basically the opposite of what i did to the first one so in order for two of them not to compete when they are playing together on this one i've rolled off more of the low end you know the other one was about 70 something or this one is 350 so it's giving us a bit of that radio voice and i've notched down the same 600 and something that i boosted on the other one and the high end that i rolled up i've rolled it down here as well by over three and nearly three and a half db so this is what it sounds like. Aj teri ek ni chalni jinna tu marzi bol no lame excuses lady let's rock and roll men nu chete So this is more for typical radio voice now with the two of them playing they'll complement each other have a listen Aj teri ek ni chalni jinna tu marzi bol no lame excuses lady let's rock and roll men nu chete aandi aane as you can see, they've all blended well together now. So no one is fighting each other. The other one is just sitting behind the main vocal now. And after that, the next thing I've added is uh, I created another FX, which I, I named Verb, which is more like Reverb. But on there, I've added a Reverb. I added Reverb. And on the Reverb, I added a flanger behind the reverb. If you want to look at the settings, I'll leave it on there on the screen. After that, I added another channel strip here. So basically, rolling off a bit of the lows, about 104, then the highs, rolling off the highs as well. 
so the reverb doesn't overpower the vocal and I've also engaged the compressor yeah which I've side chained to the vocal so if I click on this side chain you can see it's on tap there I've side chained it to the lead vocal so which means when the lead vocal is on the compressor will dock this signal and when the vocal stops then it goes up I'll play all this together so you can hear exactly what's going on as you can hear when the vocal stopped there was a bit more like some of the flanger and reverb still coming up but if i switch off this uh compressor let me just turn it off completely just the compressor i still have the eq on now have a listen as you can hear the reverb sounds a bit too much to what we are going for now on isolation it might sound all right but when i i put it with the mix you notice the reverb is just modding up the vocal you can't even hear the voice clearly which is why i've talked that in this is what we have i'll play it with the backing track now so you can hear everything in contest so this is how you can get a mix going in the free door studio one five prime hit me up if you have any question on what i've gone through so far thanks for watching also don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you on the next video bye bye Zen is